Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here with Baroness, one of my personal favorites. Thank you guys so much for giving me your time today. Right on. Good to be here. Of course, it is good to be here. Yes. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that uh, you guys weren't able to get a bus and that you guys are, are sort of stuck in a van on this tour. Is that correct? That is entirely correct. I heard from a very reliable source. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but you guys are on an amazing tour right now. It's a great tour, and John's doing most of the driving. He's doing a great job. You know. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> we're following. We're following a large-scale bus and truck tour with dedicated drivers and Early a routing loadings. that <laughs> a routing that takes some time to get from city to city and very early load in. So um, we have been in a daily cycle of wake up, drive, show, drive, sleep, drive, just constantly for, I think it's two weeks, but it it could be seven months. I, I, I gotta say, I've, I've been on tour for a long time and so has John. And this is a great tour, I'm having a great time, but this is kind of the most exhausting, crazy tour I've ever been on. It's, the scheduling it's is crazy. nuts. Yeah, it, it but is. But we're having a great time. Yeah. So I know you guys, uh, there's been talk about you guys have been working on uh, some new stuff. There's been sort of a new album in production for quite a few years now, maybe a COVID-ish time. Uh, I would love to know more about how that's going and maybe what the when we can expect a new Baroness record. Well, we are dreadfully close to having all those answers for you. Uh, I think that it, it's a, I think it's a very safe bet to say that in 2023 there will be something new and all of the garnishes that come with that, like tours and, well, tours and, um, yeah, tours, uh, probably a tour in a bus. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> but hopefully first half of 2023. Yeah, we we started writing a record uh, in the, like sort of in the very depths of the pandemic. And at the time, the, the, the means we had to do that or the, the methods that we used to do that were somewhat challenging. Uh, but we, we got a whole bunch of work done through the pandemic. And then once things sort of wound down, our timelines got a little blurrier and we're getting everything back into focus now. Um, so again, 2023 is going to be a big year for Baroness. One of the, the best parts of Baroness, in, in my opinion, is uh, the ability to be vulnerable uh, in front of big crowds and on record. <laughs> and to That's be- what this tour is all about. <laughs> yeah, vulnerable in your van, hopefully not getting broken into at night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, without spoiling too much about this new stuff, how can you, uh, what can you tell me about like vulnerability, that sort of emotive uh, barrenness of this new stuff? Well, I think I'm coming to realize that there's no way for that, that a aspect of our music that you're touching on I think that is something that I can't, I can't as a vocalist, as a lyricist, and as you know, a part of the songwriting team. Uh, I I can't really avoid that sort of emotionally charged, high energy, but somewhat difficult, somewhat melancholic sort of thing that we do. I will say that for this, for this upcoming record one thing that we I think that we really we, we developed over the course of you know, no no ten I guess we're coming up on 10 years with, with Sebastian and Nick in the band and uh, six with Gina what we've really worked hard to do is to create a, a chemistry that's so uh, fluid and so um, conversational as, as musicians that we've begun to become I guess I don't I don't want to say like improv but uh, the way that we write music is more, it's more reactive and more um, based on musical cues that we're, we've, we've learned how to give each other. So with the new record, we really wanted to sort of begin to lean further into that and not, not write everything fully before we worked it out as a, you know, as a jam. So I think one thing that'll be really uh, exciting for us to exhibit on, on the upcoming album is how firm the chemistry's gotten and how uh, 
how wide we've been able to spread our wings uh, musically and you know with with diversity and and rhythms and you know sort of textures and you know aggressive one minute and very gentle the next that's always been something we focused on but you know just sort of playing music in the in the in the broadest sense of the word I think we've I think we've really begun to do that, just to just to be musical and play music with one another. There were definitely some nights in our studio where we just played, and we weren't yeah. we weren't tracking a song, we weren't even writing a song. We were just having a good time and just playing. And I think that's that's a good good thing to do in the studio if you have the opportunity. Has the artwork for the record been completed? Either yes or no, but there will be artwork to accompany the proceeding record. That's big breaking news right there. There will be rec there will be album art. Of course, your evolution as a band has been uh, very rewarding for the fans, um, obviously to yourself as well. Uh, how have you seen the fans change as you've gone, you know, from like the Georgia sludge? to uh, something that's, I guess, much more uh, multifaceted. Well, it's, it's, been a, it's been a really interesting kind of ride. I, I think that there's this aspect to our band, which is that it's very difficult even for us to describe to somebody what type of music we play. I think that, I think that is probably the thing that I am most proud of uh, in terms of how we've, how we've managed to move this band forward. But it, is, it also creates, as you can imagine, some difficulties with regards to promotion and marketing. Who do you who do you, who do we fit on a bill yeah, with? Finding bands to tour with. Yeah, it, it can be very it can be very difficult because over the course of red, blue, yellow, green, purple, gold, gray, and into the future, we've seen the fair winds of uh, popularity and coolness and hipness kind of change. So. There are some records we put out where we've been decidedly uncool in in terms of the audience. Some records where we've been just like kind of hi, you know gotten tagged with a hipster metal thing. None of which was had anything to do with us. But I think the more important thing is that we approach our audience with open arms. Whereby I think there's something for a death metal fan. I think there's something for a classic rock fan. I think there's something for a Metallica fan. Just like I think there's something for fans of underground extreme punk and hardcore. Um, and I'm happy to just leave it at that and let our audience decide year by year where we're at because we've seen this loyal audience grow and it's not homogenous. It's not entirely easy to recognize or even or pinpoint, but I think it's cool, you know. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your time very much. Thank you. I cannot wait for the new Baroness record. It's, it's felt like a million years because of everything that's happened. I think the new Baroness will... Uh, be very healing in a lot of ways and it will make everyone feel nice and happy which is a great thing yeah yeah i hope so yeah yeah no i i think i think i think i feel good about it